push the bike coming out right here. Good, how are you? You want to move this one? We can move it. No, nah, I think it'll be okay. We can move it. Pull it up. Did they just leave it here? Or? Must be, because the neighbors next door, they say it ain't ours. And then we got here, it ain't ours. Wow. You good with that one though? Yeah, man, it'll be fine. I can swoop right out around. I appreciate you though. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I saw it. 2020, you know, senior 2024. I said, well, maybe they're there because nobody was in that house when we got there. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know what happened. Well, brother, we'll get it going for you. <laughs> Thank you, man. All right, let us know if you need anything. Okay, we will do. Okay. Oh, I can't get it then. <laughs> well, broken too. I saw them at once. Yeah, there's like a, I don't know if they did that or what. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you know what? That looks oh, it goes to the top of different light. Yeah. This right here is. Uh, yeah, I haven't finished my walkway. It's pretty. It's pretty. I'll run over there. Oh, goodness. In this business, everybody wants to call at the exact same time. <laughs> I don't care what's going on. Never fail. You can sit on your hind end all day, and then everybody's gonna call back to back within five minutes. Everything auto is Jeff. Hey, this is. I just called regarding my Volkswagen that got towed. I was trying to come get it. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, let me see. Are y'all open and everything, and I can come? possibly well, get it i can get somebody over to the gate if you know you're going to head that way i can get somebody there in about probably probably within the hour okay thank you yeah. uh yeah i'm just trying to get i mean we'll be there like we're on our way now but okay just as soon as you could get somebody that would be great okay just because we're from out of town so okay it's uh 221 newman road in gatlinburg do you know the, the address yeah it's uh everything auto right yeah but it's the gatlinburg location Yes, the Gallenberg location. Yeah, yeah. Um, and as long as you're the registered owner, ID has to match the registration for the release? Oh, uh, wait, I have to be the registered owner? Yeah, are you, you're not the owner of the vehicle? My my parent, my dad is, but he's in North Carolina. I'm 18. I, I don't know if that would help. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm, I mean, it's the same last name and all that good stuff. It's the same last name. Okay. Yeah, if, uh, if we can do that and... Um, is there any way that you can get dad is dad the only one on the registration is it just his name only i believe so i'll have to check when i get the registration out of the car okay yeah we, we'll figure that out but that'll be okay, okay. um the, the cost wise it's, it has to be cash it has to be cash okay yeah all but, right uh, okay yeah we'll meet you over there here just as quickly as we can all right thank uh -huh. you thank you bye-bye okay uh that could <laughs> that could potentially be a problem on Got to tell dad that your uh, your car got towed, but anyway, we'll sort it out. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday morning. We're going to get over here and see if we can get this uh, car that wasn't supposed to be back to its rightful owner. Now, I've mind you, I've given them the address multiple times. They've confirmed that they know the address. And they said that they were going to be here 20 minutes ago. But I'm pulling up and they're still not here, so we'll see. Might be our folks here. Everything auto. Hi, I'm calling about the white Volkswagen. Um, we're here. We just wanted to let you know for whenever they get here to let them know that we're here. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, if you guys want to come up to the, to the gate there, I'll let you in. To the gate? Okay, hey, thank uh, you. Thank you. Hey, guys. How are you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, 
yeah, they called us. <laughs> I'm not sure what the situation was, but yeah, they. they I guess they were mad that I was parked in their spot and they didn't ask me to leave. They just got my car towed. So. Gotcha. Were you guys not next door? Yeah, we were next door. Okay. They yeah, they went. they I said that they came over and knocked, and and whoever answered the door said no that you guys weren't there. No, not the. <laughs> That's okay. They were mad because we were in the hot tub playing music, and they turned they told us to turn down, so we turned it off. And the rest of the trip. Oh like, no, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. Good. I just want to make sure um, I can get it. I yeah, yeah, no, it. no problem. If you've got if you've got the keys, I'll bring it up here for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Yo, you're okay. Give me just a second, and I'll yeah, get her up here for you. Is there, a, is there a trick? Is it not starting? <laughs> you can come on in. Okay, thank you. Okay. I, I'll let you, as long as you promise to be very careful. <laughs> Usually I don't let people drive on a lot. But yeah, come, I'll let you go. Yeah, you could go ahead and get to the other side of the gate. I appreciate that. You might know the, the trick to it. I, I couldn't get it to... It didn't want to go. <laughs> Everybody knows their own car, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just sometimes that I can't get, make it happen, guys. Hopefully she can. Many bumps and bruises were on it and stuff that was missing. This didn't seem like it wanted to start. Maybe I'm not a Volkswagen guy, I don't know. I think I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> I was it not? I was like, why won't this thing start? I didn't even get the key. I was like, oh no. I didn't even check that stuff. Okay, uh, I have yeah. cash. Let's okay. See. Yeah, I was a little, I was a little worried. Sorry, my car's an Oh no, you're fine. You're Here fine. You, are. All right. you guys be careful. Thank I'm sorry for the time. troubles. No, no worries. Thanks for being so helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Okay, guys. I I wanted to add a little bit to that story. <laughs> it's kind of funny, in a way. They uh, they were really causing a bunch of trouble for. Um, for their people that were surrounding the area there. Uh, the folks that, that live in and around the area for one, and then other folks that had, you know, kind of some family things going on. They apparently were partying extremely hard. Like they had music that could be heard from, from miles and miles away. And, you know, she'd said that they'd had music going while they were in the hot tub. And I guess uh, the police had been out there a few times and, and they were just really causing a disturbance. But now, you guys watched the video you seen when we pulled up we asked the neighbors you know you know are they staying next door and he said that no uh, you know we went over and we knocked on the door and they said that the car didn't belong to them we can move it no i think it'll be okay we can move it pull it up did they just leave it here or? must be because the neighbors next door they say it ain't ours and then we got here it ain't ours <laughs> wow so you know take that for what it is comment down below we love hearing from you guys you know did did the neighbor really go over and knock on the door um or did the neighbor just uh, call the cabin rental company and and go that route without uh you know we didn't we didn't take our time by no means i had to put dollies under it and you know we were there but they could have been they could have partied a little bit and then went out and then came back later i'm not sure what the situation was but guys you, you got to be mindful of uh of of your area you know it's 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 a lot like downtown gatlinburg you can't you can't go with your windows down blaring your music it's just not it kind of you try to keep your music to yourself in those confined areas because it's it's just we've got noise ordinance in place and uh kind of the same for for that stuff if you've got a family they're trying to enjoy their vacation and and you're you're trying to enjoy your vacation in a little different way i guess you could say but just be mindful guys be mindful but i i, I that was kind of cool I, I liked asking the question you know and she's saying no no one ever called no one ever came over and asked if that was our car but clearly they were parked in the wrong place and that's the only thing that matters at the end of the day and um they're going back home Yes, sir. This is Jeff. How can I help? Hey, good afternoon, Jeff. Uh, down in Lexington, North Carolina. My daughter was staying at an Airbnb over at Villa Overlook. And this morning when she got up and went out, her car was gone. And they contacted the owner 
of the Airbnb they were at who didn't know anything about where Cara went. And she contacted the owner of the Airbnb next door that apparently my daughter's car was, you know, in one space over too far. And they didn't know anything about it. Uh, so then they went through surveillance footage and found the name of your company. And that's the only way my daughter figured out where the car was at. So what I'm calling to ascertain, number one, is who authorized you to tow my daughter's car and in charge of dollars to get her car back when the owner of the property said they didn't call or the owner of the property where my daughter was at didn't call. So I'm, I'm just trying to get my facts together here. Okay. The uh, well, first off, the, the the we report everything that we take to the police department. So the police department has record of the removal and the time that it was removed and the reason that it was removed. Uh, secondly, it was Timber Tops, the management company of the place that your daughter was staying, uh, called us for the removal because it was parked uh, in in the spot that was for the next door cabin. Timber Tops. Okay, well, that must be the management company. The lady told me a name. She said she didn't know if it was Treetop or what for her, her neighbor's Airbnb. She said they had some management company, but but uh, yeah. I, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this because it, it's it's looking like some kind of scam from my perspective here. Um, okay. But uh, why, why would you why would you think it was a scam? Well, because the owner of the property didn't call you and the owner of the other property didn't call you and no one contacted my daughter to move the car and then my daughter gets charged dollars to get her car back. Okay. So A had she known she needed to move the car, she would have moved it. B the owner of neither property that actually owns the property knew anything about it. Uh, but I guess this timber tops yeah, tim- must have the authority to to go around everyone else and and do that. Yeah, they're they're the they're the management property management company for that. And um, uh, y- your daughter was parked right in front of the sign that that said that uh, you know do not park here. This is not a part of the place that you're renting. I mean, it was it was a clearly marked spot. Um, okay. And, uh, like I said, I'm just trying to get my facts together because I was getting ready to call the police department up there, but I guess, uh, yeah, no, there were already the management companies involved. I mean, I just, I didn't see how you had authority to move a car that you didn't own and that the owner of the property didn't contact you. So that, you know, something was looking pretty fishy from my perspective here. Sure. Sure. No, I understand. I understand. But no, yeah, we've, we've got record of, of all of the, uh, everything. Uh, I mean, we, we video everything. So, uh, where the car was at, what the car looked like. Um, we've got, uh, the records of the company that, that called us for the removal and that was timber top. And we verified that they were the management company. So, uh, and then on top of that, like I said, we do notify the police department. So they are aware of the time and date and what vehicle make model license plate, uh, was in that spot and when it was removed. So, um, we, we try, I mean, we, we do everything on our end that, that we possibly can, but unfortunately your daughter just parked, um, right in front of the sign that said that she couldn't. And, uh, the, the people next door, uh, reported it to the cabin rental company. Uh, they are only allotted so many spots for, for the cabin. So when those folks check in and they don't, they don't have all of their spots, then they'll call the, the, the maintenance and the, and the management companies to complain. And then they'll call us for the removal. Right. All right. Well, um, I guess that's all I've got. Like I said, I'm just, I'm on a fact gathering mission here. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> Is there any chance you could email me a, a picture of that sign in her car that you documented there? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, um, this is, a, this is my personal cell phone number. So if you would like, if you want to, uh, to just text message me, um, and then I can either forward that, 
photo through a text message, or if you want to text me your email address, then I can forward that email uh, that way. That way I've got it here in my phone. Sure, sure. And, and I, I appreciate it. Um, I'll just shoot you a text. So your number is 865-771-8442? Yes, that's correct. That'll, that'll ring yeah. into my, my cell phone here. And, and I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get a photo of that and, uh, and, I'll, and I'll text message it on over to you if that's okay. Sure. The the disappointing thing here, the uh, another another disappointing thing was that she didn't know if the car was stolen or what. Contacted the Gatlinburg Police Department, who knew nothing, didn't know anything to tell her, and said, uh, "Well, what what then happened was the owner of the property where the car was actually parked, uh-huh. the not not the Airbnb she was at, but the one next door." They didn't know anything about it, so they went back through their surveillance footage uh-huh. and and somehow ascertained that it was your company. Yeah. And then she called the police department back who said, well, it's a private matter. They know nothing about it or there's nothing they can do. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, the, yeah, the private property toes are that way. Um, the, it's, it's, it's more of a civil matter that they won't get involved in. And you know, if it's, if it's parked on a, on a, on a city street or a public street, then they'll, they'll get involved, but they, they just want to know, you know, what it was that was removed and when it was. So that way, when you call the police department, they're not filling out a, a stolen vehicle report. They know that the, the vehicle was just a private property tow and it wasn't stolen. So they don't, they don't waste their time with that paperwork. I, I would have happily paid you or your people dollars just to knock on the door and say, Hey, would you move your car over? So yeah. I don't have to tow. She well, no. had no idea. Well, here's, <laughs> Yeah, here's the situation. I was personally there last night. Um, so when we pulled up, when we pulled up, the the people came out from the cabin that had reported it to the management company, and he he personally told me that he went next door and knocked and asked if the vehicle belonged to anybody that it needed moved, and he he told me that they they said no, the vehicle does not belong to any of us here. That's why they proceeded to to remove that vehicle. And I, and I do, I have all of that on camera. We do body cam and all of that stuff. So I'm not sure what the mix up was, why he, yeah, and he may have not, he may have just been telling me that he went next door and said that I don't, I don't have any proof that he went door next door and asked them to move, but this is what he's telling me when we pulled up and, and then uh, we assessed that yes, she was parked in front of the sign. So we just proceeded with the removal. Well, I, I certainly believe that he told you that, but I also know my very timid 18 year old daughter. <laughs> yeah. I, I would like to think that she would have moved. Door, she would have moved the car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently. You can do is what, yeah. Apparently, you know. there was a little more involved. I, I guess it. It, from my understanding, it was kind of a rough night because the police department was also notified for uh, a very loud party. So they went and kind of shut down the party. And then this kind of unfolded after the police had left uh, for the party call. So apparently it was a, it was a rough night. The party was at this location? Yes. With, and then they, they had a disturbance call from the PD uh, for, for the party. And um, so that was mm-hmm. also involved in the, in the situation. <laughs> All right. Well, sound like I may need to have a discussion with my daughter. <laughs> it, so, it must have been a rough night. <laughs> all right. Well, I certainly do appreciate your time, sir. No problem. Yeah, just send me that text message, and I'll make sure you've got that photo. And uh, if you need anything else, feel free to give me a call back. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. All right, YouTube. You know, it's <laughs> often I get the parent... Uh, questioning things. Um, you know, it's we, we've got a, a pretty crazy video coming up with the law enforcement uh, officer, and uh, it was kind of the same situation. You know, you you've towed a daughter's car, and you know, I'm not I'm not very happy with it. And scam, I hear that word so many times. He's he's going to come to me just because all of this took place. You know, it's it, that's straightforward. You know, he. It doesn't get any clearer. He's he's calling me a scam. You know, we're we're all, at the end of the day, we're the one that removed the vehicle, and uh, you know, we're somehow we're somehow trying to scam a daughter, your daughter, his daughter, their daughter. 
or son. Wow. I'm going to leave this on a note of I am certainly glad I record and document everything. So comment down below, guys. Love to hear it. Hey, Jeff again. I'm sorry. I missed your call a little bit ago. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, I just wanted to make sure. Was it around midnight when you towed her car? Um, it was. Did you remember? It was about. It was about seven o'clock in the afternoon. In the evening. I'm sorry. Wow. Se seven wow. eleven to be exact. Well, that's. Uh, so you towed it way before. Uh, my daughter's. Uh, she said that her and three of the other girls uh, and, and the mom were in the hot tub, and she said, I'll admit we had the music a little loud, and they just came, knocked on the door, and she said they just turned the music off and went to bed, but that was right around midnight, and the police said they had no record of the car being towed or your company being involved, or they... They know nothing about it. Uh, that was the sheriff's department. It's Gat Gatlinburg PD said it's not in their jurisdiction, and they had record of the loud music call, but they know nothing about your company or the car being towed. So I'm okay. Yeah, we'll be we, still trying to figure it all out. But gotcha. anyway. Yeah, it was it was about seven o'clock that we towed it in, and um, yeah, again we you know we we call and report everything that uh, that we take, so it would have been to the Gatlinburg Police Department that we we'd spoke to. Yep, yep. Well, listen again, I appreciate everything. I'll not bother you anymore. Like I said, I just uh, just want to have all my facts straight. Sure, <laughs> sure. Yeah, no no problem. All yeah, right. just let us know Thanks, if you need sir. anything. You, you have a good afternoon. I thank you as well. Yes, sir. Bye-bye.